Hi, Andrew here. So branching out from our defensive pistol ammunition testing, today we're going to test some subsonic 300 blackout loaded by Ventura Munitions with a 194 grain Lehigh maximum expansion bullet graciously provided by Ventura Munitions. Now, subsonic 300 blackout is kind of cool guy ninja stuff. It's not particularly practical for defense, but it could be useful for defense discrete pest control hunting and whatnot and some folks do insist on using it for defense it's definitely better than a sharp stick the problem is most subsonic 300 blackout will not expand when fired through heavy clothing which is an important thing to be able to do for defensive ammunition so what we're going to do is first we're going to test it through heavy clothing to see if it can manage to expand then we'll test it in bear gel Let's get on out to the range. Let's shoot it through my 8-inch AR15.com upper. One zero six nine. Oh. <laughs> so it's short stroked. One zero two seven. Okay, so this first one here hit a little higher than I wanted on the block and curved up, left the block. But the second one hit right in the middle, expanded, penetrated to fourteen point three inches. Just about perfect. Lots of disruption in here. It did drop one of the pedals. Not sure where that is. I can't actually see it. It may have, it looks like there's a track here. It looks like that sheared off and left the block. Otherwise, it's pretty impressive for a subsonic rifle bullet. That's lots of cutting in here. One zero three seven. Chronograph error. Another error. Didn't lock back. Okay, so 16.9, I don't know how well you can see this on the video, but the base of this bullet is actually poking through the surface of the gel block here. Kind of cool. All right, well, color me surprised. If you follow me much on my own channel, you probably know that I'm not a fan of Lehigh in general or gimmicky rounds like maximum expansion and whatnot. But in this case, it seems to have come through. Of course, to really rely on it for defense, you may want to see more professional testing, barrier testing, windshields and whatnot. But at least at first glance, it does seem to do well, if nothing else, it does a lot better than any other subsonic 300 blackout load that I've tested. The expansion and penetration were excellent. It expanded huge and it did it relatively early. There was about a two inch neck, which isn't ideal, but it's not that bad. Penetration, perfect. 
Now you may have noticed that it short stroked a few times. Uh, one time it failed to chamber a cartridge and another time it failed to lock back on an empty magazine. Uh, does that mean that this ammunition is faulty? Not necessarily. It just means that my rifle isn't tuned for this ammo. It may be better used in a rifle with an adjustable gas block. A rifle with a lighter buffer or larger gas port may cycle this ammunition better. But it does underscore the fact that you should definitely get several magazines through your rifle before you depend on ammunition for defensive use. Is this ammo a good choice for defense, assuming that it functions properly in your rifle? I don't believe so. Subsonic 300 Blackout, as I mentioned earlier, is practically a pistol round. That is, it's a 200 grain-ish bullet at a little under the speed of sound. Well, that's pretty much like a 45. And no matter what your granddad or that guy with a greasy John Deere hat at the end of the gun counter tells you, 45s don't blow people's arms clean off when they have a near miss, and pistols aren't powerful, they're just portable. Subsonic 300 Blackout is basically a pistol caliber carbine. It's cool, it's fun, but it's not a good choice for defense. If you have a 300 Blackout rifle and you want to use it for defense, load it with full power 110 grain TAC TX or other full power real rifle cartridges. There's a big difference between a real rifle cartridge and subsonic. That doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it. By all means, have fun at the range. Shoot pigs with it, but don't choose it for defense. If you think I'm wrong, by all means, let me know why down below. If you have the time, head on over to Ventura Munitions website and take a look at what they have in stock and let us know what you think we should test next. If you have any questions, let us know. Comment, like, share, subscribe, all of those things make a big difference and help out our channel a great deal. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining and informative. You have a great day.